Female genital mutilation, or FGM, is a practice often carried out with no anaesthetic using crude and dangerous tools such as these. Survivor and campaigner Leila Hussein spoke at Islington Town Hall to mark the UN Organised Day. For me, I've always tried to highlight this is not something that's happening out there in another country. This is a British issue. These are British girls who are being cut here in Britain and some of them are being taken away. So in this country we have uh, a policy called Every Child Matters. So we're not going to pick and choose those that matter. So they deserve the same rights. And through my work, I work with a lot of survivors. Some majority of them are all British girls who were cut in the UK in the early, late 90s, early 2000s and some of them had been taken away but they never knew they had services or they couldn't really go, they didn't, there was nothing for them out there to uh, seek help from. So yeah, so I've always tried to highlight it's not something that's happening out there, it's happening right here under our noses because FGM is violence, it's child abuse and it's one of the worst forms of uh, 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 human violation. So we need to step away from this idea, oh it's a cultural community practice those brushes need to be thrown out the window as far as I'm concerned. Despite being illegal in the UK for nearly 30 years, in some communities here in London there can still be enormous social pressure to subject new generations of girls to the procedure. The Zero Tolerance Day for FGM started um, in 2003 and this was um, supported by um, the Inter-African Committee and I guess the aim is to look back at the campaign, to look back at the work that's been done both at local, national and at international level to see what we've achieved so far and also to celebrate our achievement and to look forward to see what else we need to do and how uh, we can engage more with the community. Um, I will say from my experience of running the clinic here at um, Guys and St. Thomas's and as an activist and as a campaigner myself, I will say it's rising in the sense that we have people migrating from different parts of um, FGM practicing countries here to the West, to, 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 to the UK. So hence we professionals, we frontline provider need to up our games. We need to know what our roles and responsibilities are. It's hoped more women will feel able to speak out about a subject that for so long has been kept in the shadows. Nancy Fleming, City News.